So I want to share some of my thoughts on the COVID-19 pandemic. I want to share some of the articles that I found. It might be a little bit difficult to share, but I'm going to do my best and it might be multiple parts. Now it's been very sad to see that most of the alternative remedies, whether they be drugs or vitamins, supplements, or even nutrition has been totally knocked down by the mainstream media. Yet they've been promoting a jab that isn't even and still has not yet been approved by the FDA. Now, all of us have heard the debacle with HCQ. In this article that was written by D. Nicolantio in 2020, it was described that HCQ can actually reduce thrombosis in patients that actually had severe COVID-19 disease. Plus, there were doctors that have used this drug and had tons of success. There was also an article written by Dr. Pierre Corey and associates which described ivermectin, a drug, an antiparasitic that can actually reduce the viral load of C19 and also reduce transmission. Also, let's not forget the use of PCR as a diagnostic tool for C19. First of all, it was never approved by the FDA for C19 testing. And initially, state governments were using cycle thresholds of 40 or greater to diagnose C19, even when the CDC said values should have been around 33 and Dr. Fauci said they should have been around 35. So essentially, there have been a lot of false positives for C19 and we've been living in a case-demic rather than an actual pandemic. So have we been told the truth? So as a medical doctor, while I don't practice medicine, I recognize the importance of drugs and procedures in treating disease. However, drugs and procedures are mostly palliative at best. We've put people with degrees on pedestals and forgotten about the healing power of Jesus Christ. While I do respect the profession that I chose, Romans chapter 2 verse 11 says that God is no respecter of persons. Many times when we look at someone that has a degree, we put them on a high pedestal. But 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 7 says that men, referring to humans, we look at the outward appearance, but God sees the heart. So it's so important that we put Christ methods of healing first, which include a healthy diet and lifestyle. Jesus says of himself in John chapter 12, verse 32, that if he be lifted up, he will draw all men unto him, which brings me to my motto, Mo Jesus, Mo Health, which simply means that the more Jesus we have, the more healing of our mind, body, and soul that we receive. Take care of yourselves and God bless.